Messiah, can you explain one more time why Jesus was not a black man according to the proper context of the scriptures? Okay. All right. Let's do this one more time. Y'all pay attention. Okay. Firstly, I have to bring you to Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1, which talks about where he saw the vision of God. As we move down to verse 4 through 7, he talks about these cherubims or these angels that he always see. Now, this is important because these are the same angels that, that always appear in Daniel and Revelations and all the other books. Pay close attention. Now, I want y'all to focus your attention on verse 7 where it say, And they sparkle like the color of burnished copper. Okay, moving down to verse 26 and 27. He has this vision of this throne and a man above it. And from the appearance of his loins below, he saw fire. Very important. Pay attention. Okay, now let's move to the book of Daniel. Chapter 10, verse 6 through 7. Here he talks about where he saw an angel that had the appearance of brandished copper. But I can't fail to point out that verse 7 is where Paul actually stole that little thing from about where the people that was with him didn't see the vision but okay let's go and move further on. okay let's move on to the greco-roman new testament okay in revelations 1 verses 14 through 15 see where it says his feet were like burnished bronze where it had made to glow in a furnace see the context here is explaining in greater detail about how the verses were used in the old testament but in the context of this, we see that they are, they are explaining a, a glow or embodiment of light emitting from this body. Now, remember in Ezekiel when I told you it was important to pay attention to that fire, right? Now, you see when you do a refinement on bronze and copper and it's in a furnace, it looks like fire and it glows. See, this is the image that they was trying to portray that the body of the angel in the vision looked like it had nothing to do with black skin black people don't even look like gold or this or copper so it's completely ridiculous to apply that figurative language to skin color and let's look at where it says his head and his hairs were white like wool like snow anyone who has any kind of reading comprehension can clearly see that they're describing the color of a sheep and not the texture it doesn't say if the hair was as a sheep's wool or the texture of a sheep's wool it says white as wool clearly telling you that we know wool pure wool and sheep are white i mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with being black and jewish by faith but when you start trying to turn biblical characters black you trick